ECZ, ECZ is supposed to be neutral because they are looking after all political parties. So the one who is a chairperson should not be seen a person that is completely aligned to a political party. There are those national institutions, constitutional offices, those ones when you are appointing, if you are a responsible president, you should make sure that you consider those people that are in the eyes of the, the general public, they are statesmen and women. Those are the people that you appoint. She's not a state person. She's a cadder. Chipenzi is a cadder. Okay? Now, you cannot compare Bowman to Sambo's appointment. Bowman to Sambo's appointment is a political. He was, an, he was a minister. That is a political appointment. So political appointment, they are different from these appointments, such as ECZ, such as the, the, the judges. These are different. So a responsible president should not phantom, should not dare bring anyone who is politically inclined. And this is our problem with Mwangala Zalomes, Chipenzi, and there is another man in there. There are three of them. And then the other people that they have brought in. So that is our issue because now, those people, how can I look at them as, as, as neutral when I know they are UPND cadres? Yes, the president has got powers, but... Watch the entire video, my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Hello? Hello? Yes, President Ali, how are you doing? Fine, fine, thank you. How are you, sir? I'm doing okay, thank you. Mm. I'm calling for the first time on your program. I want to contribute. Thank you. Uh, yes, President Ali, I think, um, in all fairness, mm. you know very well that uh, the ruling which was passed by the Constitutional Court to serve uh, uh, President Mungu to run for the first time. Mm was not done in all fairness because the president clearly threatened the judges and told them to say, if you want uh, Zambia to be in chaos, <clears throat> you do what your police did in chaos. We all know to say PF were interfering with this society. But today, you are condemning UPND, you never condemned people simply because you are in bed with fear. Which I think we can understand this upon you. Number one. Number two, when it comes to ECZ, uh, the president is the one who is given the powers to appoint the official. Mm. This is written in our Zambian constitution. Mm. And at no time has anybody protested over the appointment which the president has made. Look at Boman Dosam. Boman Dosam is a pure cadre. 100% cadre. Some of us have spent years and years in university, but we can never even be appointed as ministers, even when we have the prerequisites. Why? Because we are not political party cadres. We have never questioned anybody. Because it is the prerogative of the president to appoint who he feels like. So the issue of appointing ECZ officers to run ECZ is the prerogative of the president. We can demonstrate about certain things, but we cannot demonstrate about things that are clear, simple and straightforward, even if it is political. No, that is not the way to take place of uh, The other thing that I wanted to say is this. You see, the opposition that we have in Zambia is very selective. Most of them will go to Northern Province. Uka will go to the Copper Belt. Uka will be there in the Saka. Uka can never go to UPM this Congress. You will never see Uka in Southern Province. You will never see Uka in Western Province. You will never see Uka campaigning in Northwestern Province. How are they going to win? Because truly, if UPND rigs the election, 
They just need to win central, northwestern, southern, and western provinces. And check for the numbers of the voters. Then that's it. They win. The opposition has to go in uniform strong votes and campaign. They don't go to campaign. So who's going to vote for them? So now, now let me answer you. I've given you time, and I, I want you to stay yes. online so that I can yes. respond to your three issues. Number one, you say the ruling yes. which was done uh, on Edgar Lungu's eligibility, it is because Edgar Lungu had threatened the judges. Now, right. number one, so let me respond to you. If Edgar Lungu did that, okay, and the case was closed, does it mean now that HH is in power, he should also influence the judges to bring up the matter and rule in his favor? Is that justice? Because now Edgar Lungu is gone. HH is there. So now we should go back to those cases. And as, the, as you are thinking about that, I'll give you an example. HH was found in that case of uh, the issue of treason. And that case was, never went to court. It never went to court. Uh, it ended up in a nolly. So tomorrow if I become president, I should go back to that case and say, no, since now I am in power, let's bring up that case because what HH did was wrong. I mean, that is not right. That is not right. What is supposed no. to be right? So listen. I, the I issue, agree. Yeah, I agree with you. What, agree what with we you are saying, saying, what we are saying, listen, what we are saying from my point of view, when you go to court and a, a case is looked at by the judges and at the end of the day they make a judgment and it reaches its fine its finality like in the concord because when it reaches the concord there is no appeal in the concord there is no appeal okay so once it reaches there if there was an injustice maybe i was not happy with the way it was judged i shouldn't wait that when i become president then i should bring up that case because i was not happy that is not the independence of the judiciary. What we are asking for, what we are asking for is independence of the judiciary. Independence of the judiciary. Whether the judges make a mistake or they don't make a mistake, it shouldn't be that because I don't agree. I may even be right myself. I may be right that no, this is wrong. But when I become president, it's not time for me to go back to the judges and say, that case, you, you ruled it wrongly. For example, I was, I was convicted of assaulting a police officer. I didn't assault the police officer. When I become president... I, I know. When I become president... I know and I agree. Uh, so when I become president, are you telling me I should go back and say, that case, uh, we, you convicted me. I was not... Uh, it was not... Uh, it was not justice. Is that right? No. You, you see what I mean? So no, I agree no. with you where, yes... Edgar Lungu, the statement that he made was unfortunate. And whether the judges were intimidated or not, my issue is that the case was closed and it should remain closed. Whether some people were happy, some people were not happy, a good example is John Sangwa. John Sangwa was part of the people that petitioned. He was part of the, the UPND when they were petitioning. But today John Sangwa John Sangwa has adopted the outcome. He, he, though he's not happy with it, but he has adopted it because he said they have ruled. So let's just move on. And that is what we are talking about when you talk about the issue of eligibility. It was, it was, it was adjudicated upon. It was closed. Ed Galungu stood. Haka in the won. Imagine the confusion that will come out of that. Imagine if, let's say, now they have opened it up. And then later on they say, no, Edgar Lungu was not supposed to stand. What happens to HH's presidency? What, happen what happens to the, to the appointments that he has done? To the executive orders that he has done? What happens? So you see that confusion? No, the, the, you see that confusion? The, the, the issue that is there, yes, Mr. President, for me, I agree with you. Mm. One thing that I like about you is that you stand for justice. That's it. It's just my that. Point, mm. yes, my, my, yeah, my point is this. There is another part that will come after the UPAD. And some of the some of the rulings which the courts have passed, which are not pleasant, I know to say they will be revisited. And it shouldn't be right. It shouldn't what be you, like that. 
Mm-hmm. Yes. So, yeah. Now, what you and I should advocate for is to have a good constitution that will give us an independent judiciary. Now, you are digressing. Let me not digress. I don't want to, to, to digress. I think you, you have gotten my point. So, the issue of fighting the constitution I talk about, that this is one of the things that I, that I, that I talk about. But at the moment, I think you agree with me that whether the court made mistakes or, they, or whatever it is, or it was right, it is not right because we have changed leadership. We should be opening cases. That is my point, and that's what I stand for. I don't agree okay. with the Edgar Lungu interfering with the judiciary. I don't agree. Neither do I agree with Haka Inde Ichirima interfering with the judiciary. What I want is justice, independence of the judiciary. That's what I want. That is number one. Number two, you spoke about the issue of ECZ. To say the president is the one that appoints. And it is given in the constitution. Quite right. It is given in the constitution. And you have given an example that Edgar Lungo appointed Boman Musambo. Now, look, there are institutions which are sacrosanct. There are institutions which are supposed to be devoid of politics, irrespective of who, who comes into power. So by the fact that the president has got powers to appoint, he should not appoint those who are politically tainted. People who, when you look at him, you even know which political party belongs to. So when you talk about judges, even judges, this is why we have been complaining, because some of these judges, they were cadres. We saw them campaigning. Now, HH becomes president, he appoints them as, uh, as judges. We have a problem there. ECZ, ECZ is supposed to be neutral because they are looking after all political parties. So the one who is a chairperson should not be seen a person that is completely aligned to a political party. There are those national institutions, constitutional offices, those ones when you are appointing, if you are a responsible president, you should make sure that you consider those people that are in the eyes of the, the general public there are statesmen and women. Those are the people that you appoint. She's not a state person. She's a kada. Chipenzi is a kada. Okay? Now, you cannot compare Bowman to Sambo's appointment. Bowman to Sambo's appointment is a political. He was, an, he was a minister. That is a political appointment. So political appointments, they are different from these appointments, such as ECZ, such as the, the, the judges. These are different. So a responsible president should not phantom, should not dare bring anyone who is politically inclined. And this is our problem with Mwangala Zalomes, Chipenzi, and there is another man in there. There are three of them. And then the other people that they have brought in. So that is our issue because now, those people, how can I look at them as, as, as neutral when I know they are UPND cadres? Yes, the president has got powers, but they are UPND cadres. That's why we don't want them. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.